I saw something camping. No one believes me but my dogs. I promise this is a true story. No one seems to believe me, but I can't explain it otherwise. I was out camping in the mountains when I was about 11 years old. It was this small open area deep in the forest surrounded by trees. It was a family trip that included my sister, parents, grandparents, cousins, and a few friends and their parents. So it was two tents and one RV. Minute family slept in one tent that had a side connected to the tent my dog slept in, with a toilet tent nearby. My friends and their parents had a tent behind ours. My grandparents and cousins slept in the RV. There were 12 of us in total, including me. Other than us, there was only one other RV that also had a dog and another tent with a couple of few rows down. It was a big campsite, so there was a lot of distance between us, and my family was closest to the woods. Not so close that we could see into it, but close enough we could see about five feet past the tree line. It was a two-week trip, and we had five days left before going home. It was about 3 a.m., and I was still awake. I'd forgotten my insomnia medicine at home, and had slept till two that afternoon. I had to use the bathroom, but was too scared to go out alone, so I woke my dad up. He didn't want to leave the tent, but promised to watch from the windows until I came back inside. So I grabbed a lamp and went outside to the toilet tent. Once inside, I closed myself in and turned off my lamb, a habit I have so that bugs aren't attracted to the lamb inside the tent, and so no one can see me in there. It wasn't even a minute later the dogs who were in the tent next to the bathroom started barking and growling like nuts. Now these two never barked or growled, except when someone came to close to the tent, or that one time geese were passing between the tents and had scared them. And it was late, and I could hear no one outside. My dad started yelling for them to shut up, but they just got louder, and our golden retriever, who couldn't hurt a fly, started to bark this scary bark. Our other dog was growling like he was about to attack something. It was scary to hear. I was scared, but wanted to know if there was something outside. I needed to yell for my dad about, so I opened the entrance, just slightly to see what was out there. I looked straight out into the woods, trying to see if it was another animal, but couldn't see anything. But then, to the left of where I was looking, something moved behind the trees. Once my eyes focused on it, I could see this large figure, much bigger than what a human would be at this distance, walking across the tree line, not coming into the camp but walking past it. Its arms looked like they were dragging on the ground, and it looked like it had this long snout coming from its face. Its eyes were reflecting the light from the RV across the way, making its eyes glow a scary red color. It also looked to give these huge antlers on its head and moved in almost a smooth way, smooth as where it looks unnatural and like it was kinds floating there. Finally, my dad started shouting for the dogs to shut up and opened the side of the tent that connected to the dog's tent causing the dogs to run into the main tent. The creature seemed to not react to the commotion, but did turn to walk back into the woods, away from our area. As it moved away, the dogs started calming down and stopped barking or growling like nothing happened. It took me five minutes after seeing the dog leaving to feel my heart beating. My dad called to ask if I was okay, and I said yes and went back inside, but I couldn't sleep at all that night. In the morning during breakfast, I told everyone what I saw, but no one believed me. My papa said I probably was seeing things from how tired I was, or was seeing a deer in the dark and just missed how it looked. After breakfast, me and the kids my age, aka all the kids but one cousin, went to the tree line where I saw the creature a few hours before. The area I saw it walking had hoof prints in the dirt, and some signs of something dragging. And farther into the trees, there was this one tree, that had these huge, deep lashes in it that was obviously fresh and unnatural. My papa said it was probably a deer rubbing its antlers on the tree, but it obviously wasn't. I refused to use the bathroom at night after that and struggled to sleep even more. Two days later, me and my friends get my papa to go with us further into the tree line. I wanted to see if there were any other signs something had been there. As we walked into the tree, we showed my papa the marks, but the tracks had faded. Papa said it looked me like a coyote had dug its claws into the tree. As we walked deeper and it got darker, my papa told us to wait and stay where we were, and continued forward on his own. After five minutes, he came back and said we were going back to camp. After returning, he told us he had found two more trees marked the same way as the one we showed him, and a dead fox. 
He said the strangest thing was the fix wasn't eaten or anything, but it had been marked like the trees, but a large portion of its side had been ripped off and tossed farther away from it. He looked disturbed, but said it was probably a coyote who got into a fight and ended up leaving it. That was when I knew what I saw was real. After that, I refused to sleep in the tent and slept on the couch in my grandparents' RV for the rest of the trip. We no longer camp in the site after a couple was found dead three weeks later.